Hello, Ketkel here, and today I'm going to start my self tutorials on creating a 2D game in Java. First part I'm going to do is my Game Canvas class. I call it Game Canvas because it's an extension of the canvas which allows me to draw. Well, it allows me to draw elements here. It needs to implement. Uh, I can't spell. Implement runnable to allow me to use threading. Yep, so I'll just import canvas and add them in. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. First thing that I'm going to do is declare some variables for the element. So these you can change for your game if you want a bigger area to draw in or a smaller area to draw in, etc. So that, that defines the bounds of the drawing element. So here I've got an 800 by 600 element. Next I need to use a period which I use for my timing. These could probably be uh, finals since I won't be changing them. But I'll leave it as that at the moment. Then we need our drawing variables, which is a buffer strategy, which I'm just going to call buffer, and a graphics component for the canvas, which I'll just call graphics. Import both of these, import graphics, and import buffer strategy. You can see them up there if you don't have Eclipse. And then we need the main thread, which we need for our runnable interfaces. And that's all the variables that we need for my game canvas. So now we'll get started on coding. Start with the constructor. Public game canvas. Okay, so this just sets the canvas which is this object to set ignore repaint so we can use custom painting so that's true uh, set the bounds Just set bounds to start at the corner and be f width which is frame width and f height which is two variables we declared earlier that's simple enough. And then we'll set the background to white. It doesn't need to be white, it all depends on your game. But for my game, I'm going to set it as white. Okay, um, and then we just need to set it visible. Um, this stops it. Okay, that's fine import color, we'll need that. And that's the game canvas constructor done. Right, next, for the game to actually run, we need to use its add notify function so that when this component's added to the frame, it will start the game. Basically, there's no menus or anything in this basic 2D game. My basic 2D game is just catching a falling object, but you can have whatever you want. So let me move the screen down. Add notify. So then we'll call the super class. And then in this add notify, we're going to create the buffer strategy for the drawing. If you don't know what this is doing, then look it up in the Java API, which you can find online. But even if you don't know what it's doing, it works so you can have some fun and muck around and see what you can do that's part of software development I suppose and quest focus is for our input can't spell request request quest focus 
and then what we call is the function start game, which basically starts with thread. Yep, okay. So let's create that function now. It's a very simple function which clearly states that if thread t is equal to nil. So if the thread doesn't exist, then we want to create it. And this because it calls the thread of the interface, which is runnable. And then basically we just start it, which starts our main game. Simple enough. So if the tutorial isn't very in depth, I've never made one before. Okay, so now we have to override the run method of the interface. Now this is where the main game happens. So while true, so this is a game loop. We want to take what this is for timing, so we take the beginning time. And then we update, we render to the back buffer, and then finally we draw the actual component. Simple enough. Okay, then we do a long time taken, which is time taken to update, render, and draw. And then we do a long sleep time. It's about the time we're going to give the virtual machine to do its garbage disposal, etc. Which is a period which we defined earlier. Minus the time taken. And then we need to make the thread sleep. So we do a try in case there's an exception. Three sleep. That's its sleep time. And that will give the virtual machine some time to do its garbage disposal. Ah, disposal. And try catch. An exception. Oh, hang on. That's not right. An exception. Okay, join me for part two of the tutorial where I'll go on and do these functions, update, render and draw. Thank you.